Hey, it's Freddy Gang. Welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the Cosmic Ghost Rider Marvel Legends uh, vehicle kind of wave thing that they do. I think it's like once a year they do. Last one was uh, Ghost Rider, the Johnny Blaze version, and uh, Black Widow. Now this one was Squirrel Girl, and as you can see uh, on the screen it is Cosmic Ghost Rider, one of my personal favorite characters at the moment. Uh, I think it's a really funny and cool spin on Ghost Rider, one of my favorite MCU, or not MCU, Marvel characters uh, ever. I just love him. I don't know why. I just think he's really cool. And um, this is also Punisher. If you couldn't notice by the chest, it looks um, very, I don't know, Punisher-like, uh, you can tell. Um, but yeah, I, I forgot the um, name of Punisher, like his actual name. Uh, darn it. I forgot. I don't know. For those who know, then, well, you know, but, uh, yeah, he, well, he turned, well, he died, and then he turned into Ghost Rider, and, um, his, or, I don't know, Earth came, became, like, a apoc- I don't know, it just kind of ended, and Galactus was there to eat it, I guess, or something, and then, uh, him and Galactus became friends and started fighting together, and then, I guess he- I don't know if it was Galactus, but he got these really cool cosmic upgrades, and, um, he also has a new cool motorcycle, and a bunch of new cool cosmic powers along with it. Um, I don't know, I just think he looks cool, and I like his character, and he's also very psychotic and crazy, because he's been hanging out with, like, mass serial killers for, like, millions of years now, I guess, because he- I mean, he was the herald of Galactus, and, uh, most recently was Thanos, I think? Or no, he got his own little spin-off series where he killed an older kind of Thanos and he had to take care of a baby Thanos because I don't need to try to make him a good guy, which didn't work out well. Um, but anyways, getting to the figure, um, as you know, if no one, or if you haven't seen my reviews before, we always go in accessories, details, articulation, and then I just usually rate the figure. And um, yeah, also, I might be doing a double upload today because I should be getting a package in a couple of hours. So, I uh, might do a mini figure haul. I don't know. Anyways, uh, let's get into the accessories of this guy. So, he comes with um, a few accessories. Not too many. I personally would have liked if he came with some extra hands. Uh, but he didn't. So, I'm not going to really, you know, be too mad at that. The hands are fine. And uh, they're like kind of uh, grippy, uh, gripping hands uh, from a different Taskmaster figure for, I don't know. I forgot which one I have it, though. But, um, he comes with these two, uh, like, laser blaster pistols, which, if you can't tell, uh, just, yeah, alright. Uh, sorry. Oh, shoot, I dropped them. I'm all over the place today. Alright, um, so, yeah, they're both different, and they both have to fit into the cycle, um, a certain, or, like, they both have their own side on the cycle, but they look very nice. I like them a lot, so... I think they did a very nice job on those. Look very comic accurate. And then he comes with an, uh, a chain that is completely on fire. Uh, unlike the uh, uh, the chain that came with the Johnny Blaze figure, that one only had like this part of it was on fire and then this part was like silver. So um, I don't know if you want to use this for your Johnny Blaze figure, you can because Cosmic Ghostwire didn't really even, he doesn't really like use his chain that often at all. Um, so. I guess, you know, maybe if you have an extra one or you can find an extra one of these on eBay or something. Yeah, why not? Just use it for your Johnny Blaze. So I tried it out and I'm probably going to use it for him. Uh, and then he came with two uh, little ends or pieces that you put on the end of his blasters, which I'll show you. And then I think they all uh, both have their own kind of one to fit on. So this is this one. Looks really cool. I like how they sculpted the flame pieces, and then just fit this on a certain way. I think this is the right one, maybe. I don't know, something like that, but, oh, maybe I have it wrong. I don't know, let me see right now if I do. All right, so uh, I got these on, and it turns out I did have them on the right way, but, uh, yeah, very nice. I love these a lot, really sweet. And I'm not going to count the bike or anything that's on it as an accessory, because, that's kind of like a main part of the figure, uh, and I'll go into the cycle on it's, uh, separately for itself, like, while I'm going in details. 
uh, part of the video. Um, but yeah, that's it for accessories. Not too bad. Um, I just think some extra hands would have been decent, but that's not really something that I'm going to complain about too much. It's not that big of a deal for me. But anyways, getting into the figure itself, if I can just get this off real quick. Alright, so moving the, um, uh, his cosmic motorcycle side. Figure looks awesome. I love it. Uh, sorry that the light is kind of shining off of here, but you can take off his little part that he has when he's in space. And sometimes he wears out when not he's on planets, just depends. But, uh, really nice. I love how they did the spike shoulders. Look very nice. Uh, so does everything here. I, th I think they should have mixed in the colors and the blues and the reds more. I think that would have been nice or maybe a lot of different colors, because if you look at the comic and uh, comic covers and when he's in different panels, you can see that he has just a bunch of different kind of colors on these black parts of his suit. So, would have been nice if they did that, um, but again, it's just not something that bothers me too, too much. Uh, I love how the eyes turned out on the chest. I think those are really cool. If it can focus. Alright, there we go. So yeah, got those little pieces. Or little, I oh, kind of paint things on the chest there. Really cool. Uh, and then these are task mold, uh, Taskmaster legs as well. So it doesn't bother me that much. I think it fits on the figure very nice. I love this gunmetal gray. It's super sweet. Love it. Uh, there's not much on the back here, but it's got like this kind of jacket on the back, I guess. Uh, and then he's got these cool looking shoulder pads and these kind of rings around his arms, uh, which I don't mind. I also like those. And as you might be noticing, the thighs are a bit uh, big and like kind of spread out, which makes sense. They had to do that so he'd fit better on the motorcycle. I completely understand. Sorry if that messes up the, the way this figure looks to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, I don't know why I shouldn't be telling you. Sorry, but... That's just how they made it, and I'm fine with it. I don't take it as a flaw. I think it was the right move. Uh, I think they needed to really do that to make the figure better. So, And most people are going to have him on the cycle anyway, for the most part, uh, when he's on your shelf or wherever. So, I mean, that's going to be for me, at least. He's going to be on his cycle for the most part. But, yeah, I love the details on this guy. Really nice. I'm going to give that, like, a 10 out of Or not 10 out of 10. Like, 9 out of 10. I think the paint, if, or, like, the little speckles were done uh, in a better way, I think that would have easy, easily been a 10 out of 10, so. And not too, too much marbling either, a little bit, but, uh, yeah, let's get into accessories, or not accessories, articulation. Uh, he does have articulation here, and then there's this giant, um, peg sticking out here. Pop that off. This also you can take off, by the way. So, it kind of just sticks out, and it goes all the way deep in the chest, so. Uh, and also the skull is a bit translucent, which is really sweet. I love it. I'm um, sorry you can't see it that well, but yeah, he has yellow eyes as well, which is really cool. And uh, I, I wish they, I don't know, maybe gave us an alternate head so you can have it when he's not wearing this giant glass thing on him. Um, I think that would have been cool. Maybe just use, reuse the other uh, head on him, or the other Ghost Rider head, and just make it more red or, or for the skull. Um... So yeah, he has articulation up here, which I didn't really show, but can go pretty far up, pretty far down. Has swivel right here, and has a lot of attitude. Really cool. And you do have to kind of point him a bit downwards so it can fit under here. Uh, arms go out pretty far. These are connected to here, which doesn't bother me that much. Uh, you have a bicep swivel, double joint it. Elbows going that far. Has a swivel at the wrist and a hinge as well. Uh, he has a diaphragm joint, which goes pretty far forward, pretty far back, and can go all around. And yeah, really cool stuff. So legs go up uh, pretty far as well. Don't uh, do not go back. Go decently far out. Biceps or not biceps swivel. Uh, thigh swivel. Double joint and knees going that far. Uh, and they, they can swivel right there above the ankle. Uh, they do go pretty far back, pretty far forward, and do have ankle pivot. So for the figure, I just gotta say, the figure on its own is pretty good. I would have to give this also a 9 out of 10. I think the only things that really mess it up is the little speckles, uh, red and blue speckles, and then probably, 
Uh, I'm not gonna say the thighs. Um, but yeah, just the speckles. If that was fixed, and maybe like a different, I don't know, like maybe if they did the uh, head area a bit different, I think this figure would have been uh, 10 out of 10 on its own. Um, but pretty good still. Now, with the bike, something I know a lot of people are uh, may have questions or anything about. This uh, little part can come off. Um, by the way, if anyone was wondering, it does have a little ball joint. Uh, so you can move the bike all around on it, which I'll show right now, because why not? So, you can go all around. It's very cool. Uh, and I love this gunmetal gray on this thing. It's very big, by the way. It's, I think it's 12 feet, or 12 inches long. So, not 12 feet. <laughs> uh, this flame piece on the end can come off too. Uh, and so can these giant mufflers. Uh, but I'm just going to leave those on right now. And then this, uh, to connect this, uh, here, let me just do it for you all. So what you do, you have these electric pieces and this little part in the middle. Just put that right there. And then you take this, and you're just gonna plug it into the bottom right there. And then, yeah, there's that. You're gonna do it, or, did I do this right? No, yeah, I did. Uh, and then you're just gonna plug in the top pieces right here. I can plug this in. Sorry. Uh, and then you can just put this part of the giant wheel orb thing on top. Here, let me just do that real quick. I'm sorry. I'm not showing this to the best on camera. Also make sure that these parts align up here. And then you just make sure that connect everything kind of connects. Make sure it's on nice and tight. And there you go. It looks very nice. I like the little electrical pieces in it too. It looks very sweet. Uh, very nicely done on the bike, I gotta say. Really awesome. Also, for you can uh, port in his blasters to the sides, which I'll uh, go and show you all. So this is the right blaster that goes on the right side. And you're just going to put it into this little part right here. Fits in pretty easily and it'll stay in there. And this one is the left blaster. And that just slides in right here. And boom, there you go. Very concealed on the bike, looks very nice. So, um, yeah, oh, oh, one other thing I gotta say, I love that little leather kind of seating, has the Punisher logo on there too, so very cool. Um, I gotta say, the bike, 10 out of 10. There's, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's, uh, it's nothing but amazing, to say the least. It's really, they outdid themselves for, being under $40, this is literally probably the best you could get. Um, you know, getting a giant motorcycle, cosmic motorcycle, and then getting a really awesome figure, too. Man, this thing is sweet. From accessories, details, um, and articulation, and the cosmic bike on itself. Uh, man, I just gotta say, this is easily, for me... 9.5 out of 10. The only thing that makes this thing, like, just a downgraded bit is probably the speckles and maybe how they did the head. That is probably the only mistakes on this figure for me, personally. Um, I, I, it's just, you gotta go pick this up. It's literally an awesome figure, especially if you don't have a Ghost Rider figure. Um, I would definitely go get this. I found it at Big Bad Toy Store. It is still, uh, in stock, so I would probably go pick that up. Or I saw one at uh, target too so maybe check your stores check online um and yeah oh i will do want to show one comp comparison and i'll show you guys the box real quick so here's the cosmic ghost rider up against the regular donny blaze original ghost rider uh and they're very nice i love them both uh i think oh frank castle is his name <laughs> i just remembered um yeah, I love these both. If you somehow can find this guy, uh, why not get him? He's awesome. Um, but I gotta say, uh, go pick up this Cosmic Ghost Rider figure. Really awesome. Um, hope you all enjoyed the video. I know it was a bit sloppy at parts. I'm not the best talker. I'm still working at it. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, probably gonna double upload today, so be ready for that. Um, oh, one more thing, I guess. Here. Actually, no. Never mind. Um... I'll see you guys in the next one.
Well, once again, like and subscribe if you haven't already, because I know like 85% of the people that watch this aren't subscribed. But anyways, love you all, and see you later. Bye, guys. Peace.